Hello everybody and welcome once again to the Fighting of Blood Magic. This episode I would like to do some demon crystals, demonic crystals. So let's get started with those shall we? Oh, before I forget, I did add a new mod um, to the pack and the, the mod I added, if I show you the... Right, she probably needs to do it this way, mod options. And have a look down here, we shall see bounding box outline reloaded. Really good mod actually. Let's just turn it on. Press F5. Uh, sorry, B for turning it on. You can see behind me here we've got a, a red bit, a big red block. Let's have a look at that one. Uh, press it. Let's go and have a look at it. If we actually have a look over here, you'll also see beside that a blue one or a cyan one. Now, the cyan one, as you may remember, is the actual the ocean monument, and the, the red one is in fact the spawn chunks. So, as you're traveling around the world, I'm seeing these things going, Oh, what's that? We're going to investigate. Find something like a, an igloo. I found an igloo when I was traveling around. In fact, it's a very long way I've been traveling around. It's like it took about four hours to so just get there and back. So, there we are. Right. So, what I'd like to do today is to get one of these demon will crystal. And to get one of those, you need a demon crystallizer. Now, to get one of those, the only thing that was stopping me before was the amount of will required for this. You need 500 will. Well, and then it uses 100 of that. So the first thing we need is some stone glass lapis and a hellfire forge, which needs four stone, 11 iron and one gold. Let's get the bits and pieces out of, actually get them out of here. I'll turn that off by the way, because it might annoy you at the same time. Press B to turn it off. So I'll take a stack of that and some iron. I probably need more than that. Let's get about, it was 11, wasn't it? Let's take, take 16, take some gold. I was resource gathering, got a load of diamonds. <coughs> Found some, so I've got about 50 diamonds. I think we need a few diamonds for this. I'll take about eight, nine will do. Lapis, we need a bit of lapis. So I know we're going to make blocks of lapis later on. We're also going to need um, some bla a blaze rod and some slime bolts. We got those already. I think glass was the other thing we needed. So let's make the Hellfire Forge to start with and make yet another Hellfire Forge. Oh, we need the iron, don't we? So this we now need to make in the crystallizer, uh, in the Hellfire Forge, sorry. Let's do that. So we needed a forge, a piece of stone. Oh, I need to take this out of here, by the way. A uh, piece of glass. And I think the other one was a piece of lapis, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, I made another common Tartaric crystal, because I want to upgrade this next one. Um, and make the greater Tartaric gem out of that. So we've got that. So this is the thing that actually basically makes crystals. So let's put it down. And the next thing that will help us along is to make a um, crucible. Demon will crystal. So have a look at the recipe for that because I haven't got that one there. See, this is basically this doesn't. You can, there's nothing to left click it, so you can't see the recipes. But you can right click it, so you can craft with it to make some stones. Um, and you can repair crystals. Actually, I don't know what that does. You can use it on an anvil to repair items. So any of these, for example, our sentient sword we can repair. And in here we can also make these things. So the one we want to make is this. So we have weak blood shard, demonic slate, tartaric gen, um, which we can do very straightforward, no problem whatsoever. We've got everything we need except for this. So that's the thing we need to make with them would be the demon uh, crucible. this thing. Fairly straightforward. Lapis stone, diamond and a cru and a crucible. So let's go and make those. And they're made again in the Hellfire Forge. I just need to make the crucible for that one. So that's just seven pieces of iron. I haven't got enough. So I had. Okay. Oh, where we have actually. I'm just sort of double up somewhere. Nope. I'm not seeing it. What did I do with that then? I thought I'd have clicked it. Right. Okay. That'll do. So there's our crucible. One diamond stone, I think, a piece of glass. I'm not sure exactly. No lapis. 
Right, got all the bits and pieces. Let's go and make this. How far forward? So, one piece of lapis, one diamond, one crucible, one piece of stone, I think was the recipe. And yes, it is. So, this is now using some wheel out of it. Should use 100 exactly. Same as the other one. So, let's put this down here now, like that. And check it's in the same chunk. So to do that, I'm going to press F3 and hold F3 and press G, and you'll see that the chunk is here. So we're in the same chunk. So what this does is it extracts uh, demon will from tar gems, tartaric gems of any description, and will put that into the aura of this chunk. This will then crystallise that aura. There is another thing we can make for doing that. I'll turn this off again and then um, go and get some gems out of this. So in here I've already got these crystals all charged up, ready to go. Um, and what happens is, you put this in here, you right click it in and it takes all the wheel out. So let's just do the one we've got already, which is my, um, I'll leave it in health for you instead, common one. I'm going to put this one, by the way, I'm going to put this one back in here because I don't want that to be used for anything at the moment. So right click this into here and then it's going to take it out. As you see, it's already used up a reasonable amount. And I think it'll actually use up just about all of it. I'm not 100% sure. It doesn't take very long, I know that. In fact, I think it's already done. Easy enough to tell. Let's just show in one of these here. It's got 64 will in it. Put it in, leave that in there for a second or two take it out and it's still got 64 well good so that means this whole area or this chunk is now full of aura demon will aura so it should start to crystallize you'll notice i also got a melon here as well um i was when i was trundling around i found a demon a uh, chest uh, and it had four melon se uh, seeds so i got my first melon which is great now let's go on for the next stage of this once we've got that, we can make demon pylons like this. And I believe that those move the items around. We can have a look at the book, in fact. That's probably a good start. Here, like this. And right click this. So let's have a look at the pylon. Demon pylon. Okay, so the aura remains in its own chunk. And if there are no outside influences, one of, one of these influences. The pylon acts as a beacon for the will in the aura to be pulled from neighbouring chunks, those not directly connected in the four cardinal directions and not the diagonals, into the its chunk will attempt to equalise the will in its chunk with the neighbour. So the pylon's chunk is as much will as the highest neighbour. Okay, now this happens only one way. However, the neighbouring chunk has less will than the pylon's chunk will not be transferred to the other direction. Okay, so that basically pulls will from other chunks into the current chunk. Now, to measure the will, we have there's another tool. So have a look at that one. So that was also the this the demon will aura gauge, and again this is made with um, will, of course, and health forge, gold lapis, and a any form of will crystal and we have our first crystal look at that let's break let's you can break this at the same time doesn't matter when we do it and we get our crystals now you can leave it and you'll get a second crystal growing beside it so now we can actually make oh, i need to go and get that that thing again um let me go and get the the gem out of here that I put away, the Tartaric gem, the empty one. Uh, da, 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 da. I also need some wheat blood orbs, but I'll do that later on. Where did I put it? Oh, I know where I put it. I put it in the health of Forge, didn't I? Ha! <laughs> Before I go into that, let's just check what we need for the gem. The greater Tartaric. So we need a demonic crystal, slate, like wheat blood shard, and the and the gem so the demonic crystal i've already got they're already downstairs prepared because i upgraded the altar downstairs as well i didn't do it on camera because you, 
it's exactly the same process as before so I'll go and get that and come straight back again right I've got that so I should have all the bits and pieces we now need for this so we've got our gem we need the um, demonic slate we need the crystal and we need can't remember oh yes the weak blood shard which we've got in here And then we need to put our crystal into here and we should if i've got everything right which is wrong what's wrong with this have i got enough 724 weak blood shard oh i need a thousand <laughs> oh dear right i'll be back in a minute when i've got a thousand it's just grinding a few mobs see you in a second so i've got my common totoric gym now full of will and you'll see this is attack damage 13 unfortunately the attack damage will go down when this gets when this starts to be used so we used 100 well that's actually not too bad now we've got the greater tartaric gem take the demonic crystal with us we don't need that uh, demonic slate don't need that in there anymore so now we have achieved uh some reasonable amount actually let's put this oh i know why i did i know why i messed up on that one it was my own fault i, I should have put this put this back in here and it will start to get another crystal fairly quickly let's take it out again it's 824 put it in again so 824 so now the wheels filled up in this area so the next thing we've we've actually got our first greater totoric i'm going to fill this up in my own time of course and then of course then the latest one's going to be the grand totoric gem which is probably going to need something let's have a look how we're going to make this yeah another star <laughs> well that's not so difficult strangely enough we shall be able to do that maybe not next episode i'm going to build a mob spawner for um with the skeletons i think and grind a few of those to get their heads and then find the place in the nether to do the rest of it but so between now and then i'll be preparing that stuff i think so the next thing we'd like to do is to make a weak activation crystal now I need three buckets of lava for that and in here I've got my lava sigil here I think that's all probably all I need for this one I've got a bucket of water but I don't need that anymore while I'm here let me just put away some of this stuff that I don't need because it's filling in my inventory badly stone I don't think we need stone I don't think I need that Oh, I do need that. Yes, that's right. I do need those as well. Those are for the next part. Because we need to make a ritual diviner. Which makes life a lot easier. We could do without the ritual diviner. But that will make things a lot easier to do. And we only need four diamonds for this as well. So, but first of all, we'll make the weak activation crystal. So for that, we need a lava crystal. This one. So we need one diamond, two obsidian, two glass, three buckets of lava, and an orb of some description. So, go up here. So I need the orb. I think I've left, I've got one with me. I'm just looking around, I can't see it. Um, I think I've left them downstairs. But that's no problem. So the first thing we're going to do is make another orb. We're going to make the orb for, um, the, which one is it, the master? The yellow one. Let's have a look. I think that arc mages, magician's blood orb apprentice, weak. So it is the master one, which is here we need 40,000 LP. We've got that already prepared. Weak blood shard. So let's go and um, get that done first of all. Before I go and do that, I'm going to get my the rest of the stuff I need for that. So it's three buckets of lava, which we can do easily enough because we've got three buckets here. To get the buckets back again i've got a bucket of water as much well empty it out it was some glass i think two pieces of glass and two pieces of obsidian so that's those two Does that makes sense one two three four five six seven we need two diamonds eight and what was the ninth item <laughs> no just one diamond two glass and two obsidian right i've got everything we need good so I'm going to go over to the other side 
and I have a little a visitor on the other side which we'll have a look at him while I'm over there <laughs> you see all those chickens <laughs> I keep throwing the eggs in the, in the sea and they congregate it's interesting enough I get loads of eggs loads and loads of eggs so here we are and you'll see there's a villager here now that's because when I was doing my exploration I had a boat with me and I picked one up and brought him here and he's a leather worker I've done some trading with him already so you can see those are the basic trades 20 coal for an emerald and then you can do six emeralds for that so I actually did the one I did afterwards I didn't do any iron for emeralds but I did this one I did 11 emeralds for silk to efficiency 3 pick which is actually a good one we need that for ice and we'll need ice for something else so while we're here let's get this put into that like that could have done right clicked it on there of course but if it's not in your hot bar it's easier not to now this goes down very fast um let's have a look at the ritual for the use of this one again so it tells me here oh it's actually drain is 10 lp per per tick and that's the wrong one isn't it I want yeah. um <clears throat> we need to do that yeah that's right so we need 10,000 LP for that I'll probably do that oh, shall I do that here or shall I do that down at the bottom well, maybe we can do that here actually I think we're getting quite a decent amount of LP per per cut with this one I got plenty of food with me anyway so what I was going to look for was a weak activation crystal so let's look at the orbs in here I can't spell mistyped it this one so this one is using 50 LP per tick which is a lot of LP basically you can't keep up with that without uh, stuff with you so it should about basically be about finished it has and that will leave 2000 in here so a look yeah, exactly 2000 let's do the damage ouch <laughs> now let's right click this and then we go down to one heart let's have a look how much did that put in that put in oh well, it put in nearly 10,000 in one hit so that's not too bad so now we can make the um we can make the activation crystal let's just eat now get the health regen up a bit while that's doing that and then we'll come over here and we'll craft that up quickly I need a hole don't I I need a hole because I want to put in here some lava to pick up from my buckets so let's get the lava signal down here and then we just take the bucket out of there I will use this slot And what did I just do? I wanted to put the lava, I keep the lava signal in my hand and I forgot. Next one. And the third one, let's get rid of this water. Don't need the water. I think I was mining, I was actually mining for obsidian, wasn't I? So now I've got three buckets of lava, so I should be able to craft the, the lava Um. this one the crystal sure enough I can so we now need to do that and we get our buckets back so that's great and we also get of course we always get the orbs back again because they're too expensive not to get back so I should simply be able to put this into here now and that will make enough of that so how much food health have we got almost another for another another hit so we'll do that now Get the sigil out again for divination sigil let's have a look what's going on here you see this is going down this is 10 lp per tick so that should be made fairly soon as it happens we should have more than enough lp in there there we go so let's take this out and go back because the one thing i would like to do is to make uh some I've got two boats, so I didn't want two boats. Let's just take the axe and chop one of them up. <clears throat> one of them was one I brought with. Try again. One of them was one when exploring. Mm. 
And that mug probably one of the passages. There's a few still a lot of exploring to do underground here. Just in the area of the world spawn or the sp where I'm working now. I think I might have already said that to be honest, but Now why did I want this? Because the next thing on our agenda is to make some ritual stones. So let's do that. I have got 32 slates. So now we need the ritual stones. So we need to mass the ritual stone. But first of all we need to make um, ritual stones. So we do that with this recipe. So it's four ritual stones, uh, reinforced slates, four obsidian. This is really list this is not level four, this is level three. Because these are reinforced, not even imbued. So what we can now do is put the rest of these down here like that. I think I messed that up a bit. And then we can also put in here some obsidian. We've got more than obsidian than we need, which is great. So press the R button on that and just get this craft those up again. So we now got 32 of those. So now we can make the master ritual stone like this. So now we have the bits and pieces that we need, but we need to colour these. So first of all, the next thing we need is a diviner. So the ritual diviner is one of these three. There's three different types. There's the dawn one, which we is our second version, or dusk and dawn. Actually it doesn't, doesn't have a recipe for dawn. Dusk is this one, dust stones. But the ritual diviner is this. So what we need to do is we need an elementary inscriber tools, four of these. So this one here is a, I think this is fire. So that would be a mag, magma crisp uh, cream, no big deal. We can do that. This one here is a block of obsidian, no big deal. We've got plenty of that at the moment. This one here is a block of lapis. We've got plenty of lapis. And this one here is a gas sickle, uh, a gas um, tear. I'm not talking so about some lamps. I need a stick. Um, let's take two of those. I should enough. I don't have any sticks for me. <laughs> Make some sticks. We just need one stick, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put the other three away because my inventory is looking a bit on the full side. So, next thing we need to do, in fact, I will put away these three tartaric gems that I'm not using, the lesser, the lesser only those. We can empty those out, of course, on the, on the altar. And I don't think I need the gold and the iron. So we need a block of lapis. We need a, a magma crystal. Magma, uh, magma cream. Those are the two things we've got. We need a um, gas tear. And we need some obsidian. So I'm now going to go down to the other altar down here and we'll at the same time we can grind something. So each one of these requires 10,000 LP. Um, as I said this one hasn't been upgraded in terms of the stones. It's just got the, the blank stones down here. But it's enough to do what we want to do for the time being. And I shall upgrade this definitely over time. It just requires gold and I've been busily getting gold so what we'll do is remove this out of here this has been in here because every time I'm using um, whatever it is whatever tool I'm using or sigil it's, it's actually using these oops I don't want that to do that <laughs> no, so I want this one in here I want the gas tier I want the, this and I need the block of obsidian and then we put this all back in again we'll put in fact the master ritual all back in again so now I'm going to go and slay these guys. Fill it up again. Actually, I want to take this out of here, don't I? Because otherwise, it's going to keep making slates. So that's going to fill up again. In fact, there should be enough in here already, as you can see. <clears throat> then we have our first one. So I can remove this out of here, and then there come the next one in the in the chain of four to be made. Let's just sort my inventory and do a few more mobs while I'm at it. Yep. I think
think that's probably enough in there. Yes, it looks like enough already done. They're only, they're only one thousand these anyway, so they're not they're not very big. That'll be enough for that one, I guess. The last one's a block of obsidian. And then after that, it's going to take this orb out of here. So we're going to get the mass blood orb. Now, this doesn't have any, at the moment any um, L LP. So as soon as I take this out, it's going to drain all of this fairly quickly. It doesn't matter. Plenty of mobs, they'll refill it nicely for us. But at the same time, it's going to give us a lot of um, LP in the network. Let's go down here. So what I wanted to do now was to craft one of these. Which is straightforward. Now this means that you can colour these things. Because you, whenever you do this, you'll see... If you look at this now. It'll have a ritual associated with it. And it hasn't yet. So I've just shift it, right-click it then you've got a serenade of the nether so this one creates sources of lava from the master ritual stone very handy for making obsidian I guess and of course these guys are this is already drained out so let's just whack them a bit more fill it up a bit more I don't think I need the master ritual this master orb for the time being so we can leave it in there it'll take all the LP out of there Let's check what we've got in here. Twenty-one. Uh, and at least with the with unfortunately with the other one, with the uh, axe, I'm getting loads and loads of heads. Um, I think I'm getting about one head per 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 mob, and it's like thirty-seven or thirty-five heads. Right, back in a minute. Let's go upstairs now, and then create our first ritual. The one I would like to do. They're actually not too expensive. Oh, I hear it. A slime let's go and get the slime I want to demonstrate my new enhanced bow I think that he is down it says down yes so it sounds as though they are somewhere about here oh yeah they'll be in them they'll be in here oh just a small one a big one. All right. So easy enough to grind away quite happily. <laughs> it was quiet for a second because they were very close. They don't hurt that much. Oops, missed, put a torch, not the torch off. That's not good. Let's press F4. Make sure I put it in the right place. Let's... That should be there, shouldn't it? On the nine. That fills everything up nicely. Right, sorry, a slight distraction. Wanted to show off my bow. So let's get on with this. I think the one we'll do is there's a lot of these um, rituals. Uh, I want to say a lot. There's a lot, and they're not all documented, unfortunately. You'll see, I put down the slab there. Here we've got another crystal now. So we could actually make the next thing to this. But what I'm going to make, oh, I need a chest, don't I? I forgot. Is one to chop down trees. It's a great I need a chest. Have I got anything here I don't need at the moment? Probably lapis, I can get rid of that. Actually, I've got more lapis in here. Put it back here, fill up that. This one, I've got plenty of slime balls. No, uh, slime, yeah, slime balls coming along nicely. Don't have space for that one, we'll but sort it out. Blaze powder for putting there. Useful, of course, because we're going to do some brewing at some stage. But there, there is another mechanism to turn off that. There is another mechanism for brewing on that, and we'll do that next episode, I think. So this episode, I'd like to carry on and chop this tree down here. Great big tree. So what we do here is you shift right click this one. Serenade and it will produce little blocks of um, lava. Next one is the full spring. This will actually produce blocks of water. So every time you basically it sprouts on the top of the of the um, master ritual stone. This one here, I think, of Volcano's figure, it doesn't tell you what it does. When I looked up, it looked it up. It was basically did. It was disabled, or it doesn't seem to be disabled. It's there. 
So here we've got Crash of the Timberman. That's the one I want to do. So all you have to do with this now is you select it and you put down the Master Ritual Stone. Now this one has a 10 by 10 area. So we put it down like this. And when you put it down, it shows you the blocks that you've got to do when you've got it in your hand here. So here you'll see it's got these green ritual stones. Let's have a quick look at that one. Because that's you can do it manually, you see, you don't have to do it using the diviner, but it's a hello. It's a lot easier with the diviner. Here we go, these ones here. Of earth. Because it doesn't use up the um inscriber stuff. You'll see the inscriber stuff has got uses on it. Um and as you use it this this damage bar goes down. Dusk we haven't done because actually I don't know why I haven't done that. Could do dusk. I'm not sure what the use of the dusk one is. Probably some form one of these, but demonic slates. I'll do one of those. I'll do that. I'll probably do that off camera. Anyway, so then you right click this like this, and it will put it from your take from your inventory the ritual stones that we've got here. Put it down there, for example, and you can see it. And it puts it down in the right place and the right type. That makes life very much easier. So we've now got eight. So we had 28 of these because I used four for the thing. So now all we have to do is activate this, but it doesn't work until you I say activate it. Like that. Work, weak, weak activation crystal. So a rush of energy is now throwing this, but it's, to this, but it's not doing anything. So I looked it up, it's actually in the book. So if we right click this, we can actually see that was a pile of. Let's do search for crash. Crash of the Timberman. So what it does is it does a trees in a 10 block radius and 30 blocks above it. So that's good for basically all of the trees in here. So it the results that it puts in stuff into the connected chest. So we have to connect the chest to it. It's fairly straightforward. So I wanted the chest. I think if I put the chest down here at the front. Nope, it needs to be on the top. I wasn't sure they need to be on the top. If I could press it with an axe on that, wouldn't I? Put it on the top like that. And you'll see this cane chop down uh, very fast. It's even thrown an apple down, too. Pick up the apples and have a look in here. And I've actually got six dark oak saplings. Great. Put the apples back in there. I don't need nearly a stack of dark oak. And uh, we just put these down again. Let it grow. And that will then, next time that grows up, We'll chop them down again. So that is the first of the rituals. The one I want to do next, let's have a look at this. Ritual of the Green Grove. That one's very straightforward. That basically makes things grow faster. At the moment, I don't need that too much. Uh, ritual Interdiction. This is to do with, I'm probably going to look it up actually. I think that's the one that. Um, let's have a look for Interdiction. Ritual into I think this is the one that pushes stuff away. Forcibly pushes non players mobs away from the centre of the ritual stone. Yes. So basically it's keeps you safe. <laughs> and it allows you to basically grind mobs if you did this one, I guess. The next one Ritual of the High Jump. Oh, makes you jump higher, of course. Laying of the filter. I'm not sure what that one does. Let's right click that and look for laying. Laying of the filler, sorry. Able to block various automatic tasks. The ritual takes eyes from some blocks connected chest and places blocks within the wither ritual. Same radius two. Okay, so this is useful for laying out saplings for a tree farm. Okay. I haven't done that one before, and that was obviously a new one. So the rich, ritual takes 50 LP to activate. Um, next one. I don't think I'm going to go through this one. Of suppression. What I do want to do is find the one I actually want. Call the, the Zephyr. Picks up items within a range. Basically, that's um, it's like an absorption hopper, really, I suppose. The one I want to do is the well, of, as the well of suffering, ritual of magnetism, satisfied stomach serena, serena no, that basically produces lava. I think. Ah, maybe I need to upgrade this to do that one. Let's have a look. The well of suffering. I need to do the well of suffering. 
well of suffering. Um, 10 block radius connected to the altar. Horizontally, just tells you that. Store the location, its location internally. So it requires that one. Can be augmented with sacrificial ruins. It doesn't tell me what I need to do for that one, does it? I suspect I need dusk ruins for that. So I'm going to prepare the stuff for that for the next time. And then we can do make another one of these. So what I'm going to do is break this crystal here. And we'll use that to make the next thing we've got here, like that. So what I want to do with this one is to make the gauge. Now, unfortunately, from what I see, the gauge doesn't work, but it probably will. It's probably just a temporary thing. So, this one. So we need one gold, one glass, one will crystal, one redstone. That's not too expensive, is it? Just at the gold, redstone, glass, and the crystal. So the first crystal's basically free in a way. So let's make that. So I hope we've got enough will in there to do it, as you'll see. Plus, we'll make an aura gauge. Now the aura gauge is supposed to show you how much aura you've got in your area. So let's take that out of there and take this out of there. So you right click it and you'll see on the bottom left hand side here, I've got an aura gauge. And when I press shift, it shows me how much aura is in here. So I've been around lots and lots of different chunks and I've not seen anything except for zero 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 at the moment so I'm not sure it's working my would be my guess over here be my guess I tried doing it in the boat too of course that wasn't a good idea so it's there I don't even have to have it in my hot bar I can just leave in fact my inventory like that so maybe it's just I've been unlucky and none of these chunks have got any ore in them well, that can't be true, otherwise it wouldn't be making the crystals, would it? Well, that's it for this episode. Next episode, I'm going to have a look at potions. Actually, they don't take very long, so they'll be doing something else as well. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.